Hello and welcome to Muscle Fusion Volume 3. My name is Aaron. Ready to get going? We're jogging behind our step bench. Everything's locked into place. We've got a side stepping squat. So you're going side to side. Your chest is lifted. Sitting back into both heels. Good. Like there's a glass of water on each shoulder. Back stepping lunge. Now look. You keep your weight in the front heel. Good. All right. Let's take two side stepping squats. Down up. Down up. Now back stepping lunge. Other way. Side stepping squat twice. Back stepping lunge. Let's do it again. Go. Squat. Squat. Lunge. Lunge. Some advice on that back stepping lunge. Keep your weight in the front heel. Good job. Hey, let's get close to our bench. It's a thruster sprawl. Two jogs on the left. Let's repeat. Thruster sprawl. See that? Two jogs on the right. I'm speaking in instructor language here. Look, here's a great option. You can walk it instead. Do you see that? I'll show you again. You can thrust or sprawl, walk, and then jog. Let's take it from the top, side to side squat. All right. So you'll notice on this video, a little bit lower recording volume. Hopefully that transfers over. Back stepping lunge. Now look, the weight is in the front heel. Chest is lifted, abdominals are braced. Excellent, got ourselves warmed up. Let's take two squats, two lunges. Over here, down up, down up, and we're lunging. Let's do it again, go. Lunge, awesome job, go. And we're lunging. Okay, thruster sprawl, hit it. Two jogs. How's it going with those options, yes? Good job, maintain that core stability. Let's go again, full guns version. And then when you come down for the sprawl, it's like a frog squat, all right? Keep that lower back protected. We are going to grab our weights, two light weights, because as you know, this is muscle fusion. So check it out. Squat row, curl overhead press. Come on down. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Curl and press. Repeat. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Curl, press. Go again. Sit back, row. Keep it close to you, get underneath. Notice that little squat when we're catching the weights. Super. Moving on, two squats with the weights along the side. Now lunge. Left, right, squat. Good. Get those legs ready for some work. Go again, two squats, down up. Two lunges. Repeat, squat. Lunge, we're gonna put those moves together. Squat again. Two lunges. Now squat row. Hey, get underneath the overhead press. How's it going out there? Let's go again. Squat twice. Lunge, one leg, other leg. Now squat row. Yes, get underneath. Press, let's do that one more time. Two squats. Hey, me. It's us. Let's go. Curl overhead press. Now stay with the squat row and curl overhead press. We're breaking it down. Go again. Yes. Get underneath. Press. Now we get to our Tabata section. I will show you a different version of this curl and press called the clean and press. 
And you can choose to keep the curl and press or the clean and press. Check it out. Down, up. Now look, I changed my stance to a split stance. You may also like to do the same. The goal is just to keep your abdominals switched on to protect your lower back. Are we warm? Yes, we are. You're gonna grab a little bit bigger set of weights. One weight, actually. I'm gonna grab a weight plank. You could use a dumbbell. You could even use a kettlebell. So check it out. Down, halfway up. Down, step to the center. Rotational, side to side squat. Good, go again. Now you can add a little bicep curl with it, but make sure you keep your chest lifted. Again, halfway, up all the way, go again. All right, we're squatting down the center. Down, down, up, up. Sit back into the chair that's not there. All right, push through those heels. Now look, you can always change where you keep the weight. So you can keep it down here, you can keep it up here. Just maintain that good form, chest lifted, sitting back into the chair that's not there. Down, quick up, slow. All right, go again. Couple more. Ah, yes, get those elbows on those thighs. Now singles, rev it up, push that floor away, yes, keep them coming, four, three, two, ready, one foot back, we're lunging, full stride on these, you can keep your plate down here if you want it, up to you, push into that front heel, allow the back knee to drop, Switch legs, go. The step bench kind of serves as a guide. Look, it's about hip width apart. Good job. Hey, let's squat, nice and even, down, down. Stay a while. All right. Woo. How's that glass of water doing on either shoulder? You're not spilling it? Keep them coming. Exhale as you push. Remember, you can change where you keep the weight. I like to mix it up myself. So it's a quick, slow. Yeah. Again. Push. I have something different coming up. We're going to revisit the lunge, but in a different way. It's the short stride lunge. So let's go a little bit slow and a little bit narrow. Allow that back knee to drop, but look, it's a shorter stride. Loading these muscles right here. Let's try the other side. So you're loading those muscles right there. You can keep your weight down here or up here, it's fine. This is like a practice. One more, slow one. Let's switch legs and go fast. Remember, narrow stride, short stride. Keep that weight where you want it. You can do no weight at all. You can do the full long stride lunge. Or you can do squats instead. So lots of choices. Push into that front heel. Four, three, good job. Hey. Other leg, let's go. How is it? It's nice and narrow. Push. Woo. Nice work. Keep them coming. Eight more. Right, just because I changed where I kept my weight doesn't mean you have to. Adjust as needed. Four. All right. Hey, big singles. Down the center. Go for those squats. Come on. We got this. Let's take it home. We're going to finish this the way we began. Rotational side squat. 
All right. Down. You can do straight arms like this. And do a bicep curl in the middle. All up to you. Where you keep that weight. Halfway, up all the way. Keep your chest lifted. Sit back in the heels. Down, half, down, up. All right, hey, there's a big break after this Tabata. So let's go ahead and grab two of our bigger weights. Four. Legs wide, squat row. Move from the warm up. Curl, press. Now I did promise you I would show you a variation on this. And I will. Hang in there. Squat row. Curl and press. All right, weights down. Another variation on the warm up sprawl thruster, and then two jump squats. Or you can jog up and down. One. Sprawl. And up. Soft landings. Sprawl. Yep. Come on up. Soft landings. Option. Remember, we covered this. Nice work. One sprawl. All right. So we're going to grab those weights again. The variation on this, instead of the curl, you can do a clean and press. And I'll show you what I mean. Yeah. So you get underneath, you press, you row, you catch, you drive up, you catch again. Or row, curl, and press. Use that squatting action to protect your lower back. Okay. So, if you're gonna jog, make sure you switch feet. Not a problem if you're squatting. Two, one. Yeah. Up, up. So here's what I mean. If you're staying with the jog, just make sure you rotate the feet. If you did right foot last time, do left foot this time. One sprawl. All right. Good job. Halfway done. So your choice, squat row, curl and press, Three. squat row, clean and press, one. Get underneath. You can mix them up if you want. Yep, curl, press. Go again, squat row, squeeze those shoulder blades. Nice work, weights down. All right, we got this move down now. Let's see a nice sprawl. Go ahead and straddle that bench to start off with. Four, three, two, go. Frog squat, sprawl. On the bench, twice. Now you can also reduce your bench height. That's always up to you. Go again. Soft landings. Use those arms. One sprawl. All right. Hey. How's that hurting? One more round, both exercises. So let's grab those weights. Here it comes. Two. Squat row. Yeah, let's go. Come on down. Get underneath. Repeat. Go. All right, weights are down. Dang. Now we actually get to relax after this. So, leg, legs are wide. Four, three, chest lifted. One, down, back, up you go. Use those arms. Again, notice you jump on the bench, but you step down onto the floor. Yep. One sprawl. All right chance to shake it out. There literally is a song titled that on this mix. So walk it off a little bit. In between each Tabata song is about a 50 second instrumental. It's very nice because it gives you a chance to set up, connect with your group, and if you want to, you don't really have to stop the music. 
So that's a really nice feature. It's a working break. We're gonna get our mat ready. Next up is chest and back. And we'll start off with a little bit of chest press. We like to use the bench on our chest press. And I'll show you why. This bench can be turned into a barbell simply by putting your fingers over the edge of the bench. See that? Now, it's just like a bench press. You're pushing the barbell off your chest. Push it off your chest. Let's go down, down, and up, up. So your weight is over the bench. Recommend starting off on your knees and then gradually working your way up to the toes. Squeeze that chest to push that quasi barbell off. Now if you really wanted to, you could actually just use a barbell instead of doing the chest presses. Let's stick with these for now. So we do one chest press, one row. Chest press, row. Yep. So get a good feel for that, then go faster. Woo! Down, lift, squeeze your shoulder blade. Good stuff. Okay to be on the knees for now. If you really want to, you can do it on your toes. Down, lift, lift, lift. Couple more. Go ahead, squeeze that shoulder blade. One more. All right, let's hustle. Grab our two weights. Time for some back work. Spread the legs. Squat and roll. Come back up. Repeat. Now, folks, triple. Maintain your squat. And then stand up. Go again, squat and maintain as you row. Squeeze those shoulder blades back. Get a little lower. Three, two, one. Back up again. Okay. We're gonna do a little more work. Everybody, we got seven. Come on, you can do it. Think of squeezing those shoulder blades back. Put a couple feet in front of you on that floor. Help keep your neck in line. Now stand up. Let's go again. Come on. You got this. This works the muscles on the other side of the chest. That's why we've mixed them up. One song. Yep. Let's go again. Seven. Six. Five. Come on, squeeze. Sit that butt back. Yep. Go ahead, stand up. Let's put the weights down. Come on down. We're going to hustle. Hustle for some muscle. Chest press. Slow row. Chest press, slow row, hit the gas. Woo! So what this does is, it forces you to integrate your core muscles. As you push, you're using those kind of muscles you'd use during a plank. Remember, you can do it on your toes. Down, lift, down, lift. Hang in there. You got it. All right, we're gonna hustle. More muscle. We got those two weights. Spread the legs. Squat row, slow. Another. Here we go. Triple. That's it, squeeze those shoulder blades. And stand up. Go again. Three. Two. All right, can you squat a little lower, folks? I have good news for you. You only have to do the triples this round. Three, two, one, and we're up. Weights down. Last round. Hey, let's get right into it. Chest press, lift. Chest press, lift, go for it. Woo! Come on. Lift. Go for it. 
It's our final stretch. Woo! Push and row. Go, go, go. Keep them coming. Eight. Yes. You can do it. Four more. Now I challenge you, even if you just do a couple on your toes, see if you can. Regular push up. Seven. Six. Five. Come on. Four. Three. Two. One. Hey. We got another Tabata. Second Tabata. Now you can take a big plate or a kettlebell. I'm going to use a plate pretending it's a kettlebell. Two, two kettlebell swings. Two upright rows. Squeeze the butt on the swing. Stabilize on the rope. Use the legs. And one bonus swing at the end there. Good. You put that weight down. This side of the bench. Squat jump. Agility tap over the bench. Three, two. So, squat jump. See that? Agility tap. Squat jump. Agility tap. Soft landings. Good. Gotta keep the microphone on. There we go. Again. Nice work. So as you come back from that second swing, keep stable through here into the upright row. Three, two, one. Squeeze the butt. Bell lift tall. Elbows above the wrist. Get low. Now, up. Go again. Hold strong on that return. Lift. One swing here. Good. We're on this side of the bench now. Squat jump. Over, over. So you can be very creative in your options. One. Lots of stuff you can do instead. You can stay on the floor. Take out all the impact. Lower the height of the bench. You choose. Again. Go for it. All right. Halfway there with this Tabata. So legs wide. You gotta use your butt muscles on the swing. One. Squeeze. Now lift. Squeeze that butt. And elbows up. You will see this again. Nice work. Let's pick it up. One swing. We're back to the other side. Now I mentioned quickly the options. I'm going to stick with the options the full time this time. Three. So this is the floor version. See? Everyone will have something to do here. Also, you can completely reduce the bench height. I just showed you the no bench version altogether. I'll go full guns on this side when we get back to it. Three, two, here we go. Lift up. Go again. Use your legs. Now use your shoulders. Go again. Squeeze that butt. Lift up. One big swing. Final. Final Tabata. Love those words. Forward, backwards, side, side. Four, three, Here we go. Two, one. Go for it. So the tricky part is tapping and getting over without missing your bench. You'll have people that will want to jump over the bench entirely. It takes more skill to actually tap the bench first. They will do what they will do. Good job. This is our downtime. Grab a little sip. Now, coming up, the tricep push-up. 
You can use your bench, your step bench here, and come from behind because it lines you up perfectly. So elbows in. I'm gonna show you so you can see on video where my elbows are. From there, one weight for the tricep overhead press, and then two weights for the biceps. So get all that lined up and ready to go. So as soon as the music starts, elbows in, that's the tricep push-up. Here we go, the real thing. So your elbows are right along your rib cage. If you really want to go full guns, you can be on the toes, or just one set of toes, and you can always switch them out. Otherwise, you can reduce, dial it down, by dropping the elbows in front. So a couple choices. We're working our arms, our triceps, and then our biceps. Good. Six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna stand up, grab that weight. Now I recommend a split stance here. That helps you keep your abdominals braced. Elbows in, big grin. Inhale, exhale. Alright. It's very important that you keep those abs braced. Helps protect the lower back, it helps minimize momentum. Quick, slow. That's it. Help keep those elbows turned inwards. Again. So just a little mini combo here. Quick, slow. Yeah. Quick, slow, and that mini combo gets a little bigger. Quick, slow again. And then two singles. All right. Quick, slow. Two singles now. Now stay with the singles. Go. All right. Come on, work it. You can do it. Elbows in. Big grin. Change your stance as needed. Bend and extend. Eight is great. Hang in there. Go for it. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One. Your arms aren't jelly yet. You're going to grab those two hand weights. Up, up, down, down. Hammer curl. Shoulders are back and down. Quick, slow. Barrier stance as needed. Two singles. Quick, slow. Two singles. So we switch from triceps to biceps. Singles only. Go. Woo. Your knees are soft. Your abdominals are braced. Eyes on the horizon. Chest lifted. Just a mini break here. Roll the shoulders. Split stance if you want, or here. One arm up. Reciprocal. So as one goes down, one goes up. Yes, that lift. Your shoulders are back and down. Smooth sailing from here on out. You got this. Good work. Hang in there. Again. Nice job. Up, up, down, down. Now, two singles. One set of slow, one set is up and down. And two singles, two sets of singles. See how that works? One set of slow. Two sets of singles. 
Keep the control. Keep those shoulder blades back and down. Good stuff. Hang in there. One set of slow. Two sets of singles. One more time. One set of slow. Two sets of singles. Stay with the singles to the end. Come on. Woo! You got this. Keep the control. Go, go, go. Can you hang in there? Keep it to the end. Come on. Four. Yes. Three. Two. One. And done. Nice job. We're going to have one medium sized plate. Step your left leg back. Switch. Notice the straight arms. You rotate at the waist. Excellent chance to kind of shake out the arms. You're rotating using your obliques. One more. All right, put that weight down. We're over on this side. So we're gonna run forward. Rev up the engine. Go. Hold your jog in place, back it up. Other way, sideways. Come back. Good stuff, go. Run it. Run it back. Other way. Good job. Other way. Dang. So now, it's the other way. Other leg. So, right leg starts. Back stepping lunge, oblique rotation. Again. Nice long arms. Good work. Rotate at the waist. One more, everybody. Okay. Clean up our little yard sale here. Get it all out of the way. Forward, backwards, side to side. Back it up. Lift it up. This way. Side. Again. Go. Go. All right. I'm going to show you a little add-on that you can do instead of that jog. I'll show you the next round. We're back to the left leg. Step it back. Go. Rotate. Nice. Again. Good work. One more. Rotation is a big part of this muscle fusion release. In case you haven't noticed, we're back here. I'm going to show you an up option instead of the jog in place. You can do a thruster. The only way is up though, so it's up to you. Or you can mix and match. All right, dang. Good work. So we're back to the right leg. The back stepping lunge. Rotate. Other side. Woo! Push it out. Again. Nice long arms. Chest is lifted. One more. Good. Hey, we're staying over here. So now you know. You can run in place, or you can do that burpee thruster, or mix them up. Go. Baby. For you and me. All right. Go for it. Yes. Hit it. All right. Ding. And there is your 50 second break. Nice job. Woo! 
Okay, walk it up. We're gonna go back to legs with a big focus on balance. Intertwined in that is a little bit of shoulder work. So, at the end, you can use a bigger weight for the upright rows if you want. Should I happen to forget about that weight? So be it. So, ipsilateral as opposed to contralateral. You're gonna start on this left leg with this weight in your left hand. We're gonna do a single leg deadlift and then some side lunges. So get a good sense of balance, abdominal switch on. Left hand, left leg, you can do whatever you want with this right arm. Here it comes, single leg deadlift. Again. And if you want to bring your knee through, all good. Side step lunge. Woo. Yeah. Now, keep your hips face front so you don't overshoot it. Let's put it together. This way slow. Deadlift. Two side lunges. One more time. Slow to me. Feel the thunder. Side stepping lunge. Now, let's take a moment. Get that big weight. Put it up over your head. You're going to rotate. When you rotate, lift up the opposite heel. Starting from the top. Come on down. And then rotate. The center. Lift up. Take a look, you lift your heel. Long arms, but if you absolutely need to, you can bend your elbows faster. Yeah. Go again. And your abdominals are helping out. Keep on coming. I think the thunder. Rotating, using your obliques to also help. One more. Now, quick, quick, quick. Upright row, you can use a bigger weight if you wanted. Up, up. I skipped that first rep, but you would have four reps if you didn't skip it. Let's do some singles. Elbows above your wrist. Now, I'll need to get to my smaller weight. If you chose the same choice I made, you're gonna wanna quickly get that smaller weight back. For a single leg deadlift. Yep, we're on the other side. Tipping from the hip. If this takes a little getting used to, you can maybe do a big weight throughout as you get used to this side step. Hips face front, you go long but just long enough that your hips will still face front. They don't turn out to the side. Let's do that. Single leg deadlift. Two side, fast. Tip. Two sides. Nice job. Hey. Ooh, we gotta go overhead. I was gonna do a big weight there. Get set for your overhead. You might wanna stay light for these. But like I said, as you get used to this, you may be able to go big at some point. Come on down. Rotate. Center. Also, if you feel like you need to, you can always bend your elbows. Hey, we're going faster. Again, keep up coming. Lightning and the thunder. How those arms doing? Keeping that good form? 
So you would do an upright row right away here. And if you're sitting with me, you can switch to bigger weights. Up to you. Take it home. All right, keep those elbows up. Shoulders back and down. Don't let them crunch up to your ears. Let those shoulders go away from your ears, even though we're working shoulders. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We've got one more Tabata. You're gonna keep this big weight if you can. Let's put that other little weight away. So, it's one big squat, one big overhead press. So if you felt like our shoulder track didn't have enough in it, if you felt like our second legs track just didn't have enough, well here's the makeup. Squat, overhead. All right, put that weight down on your bench is fine. Jumping jacks, four fast, run in this place. Let's go. Let's go, bend your knees and run. Option. Or run the whole time. Run. Good job. Just making sure my microphone doesn't fall off. All right. Round one of four. Hold that weight at your chest. Legs wide. Yeah. Sit back. Push up. Heels. Toes. Abdominals. Brace. Press. You got it. Keep those abs on. Protect that lower back. So four jacks. Thumbs touch, bend your knees, wide, narrow, wide, narrow. Three, two, three, one. Woo, go. Run it, again. Yes. Run it. Dang. Okay, how's it going out there? You can do this if you needed to without any weight or with lighter weight. Yeah. All good. Just showing you an option. In case you're participants, say uh uh. Also, you can take a riser out from your bench and just use the riser. So lots of choices. You can even use the yoga line. Now, we're gonna add a double squat to it. Four jacks, two squats. Yeah. Squat. Let's go. Come on. Yes. Or you can run in place. Just an option. Keep that beat. All right. Hey. One more round to go. You got this. Hit it. Press. Again. Press. Come on. Push it up there. Heels. Toes. Heels. Toes. Nice work. Final Tabata. So run in place. Squat on top, or mix and match. I'll just be making sure my microphone doesn't fall off. Yeah. Come on. Give it an A for Aaron. No, effort. You got it. Run it. All right. Good job. Walk it off. Get rid of that yard sale. Keep moving. You're gonna turn your step bench. 
as you keep moving. Now we have been working our core this entire workout, there's no doubt about that. But on top of that, we're gonna do a little more. So, you'll turn your step bench, and then you will get into your plank. For the plank, you can be on your knees or your toes. So get that set up. Weight is forward. Nice flat back. Your belly button's lifted off the mat. Way okay, totally okay to be on your knees. Let's maybe all be on our knees for the first 32 counts. So what I mean here is you want your butt not to be up like this. You want to keep your weight forward, pushing into those forearms. That's it. Keep forward. Now, if you want to, come up a level. Keep that weight forward. We've got our hover on the toes. Good job. Hang in there. Yes. All right, on your back side. Actually, not on your back side, on your side side. We'll go on our back side later. Side hover. Hips are lifted. Put your hand right by your shoulder. Now reach overhead. And then oblique twist. Yes. Now look, I've got my bottom knee down, but if you wanted to, you could do this on the sides of both shoes. The sides of both shoes are the full guns version. Look, we're going faster, folks. How about one more fast one? You're on your back side. So take a little moment to get set up. Elbows wide, push your bench away as needed. Oblique twist, crunch. Two more. Look, the back leg lifts up. Four, squeeze your butt. Three, two, one. Now oblique twist, go to the back. Four, elbows wide, push your bench away if you need to. Now let's lift that leg. Hands down. Look, the hands are on the ground here. You're squeezing your keister. Now you're going to take this last two eight counts to get set up on your side hover on the other side. Ready? Reach. So you can be on one knee or on the sides of your shoes. Reach. And oblique. Yeah. Now fast. Go for it. Again. Oh, it's a good one. Perfect song to work our core to. One more. Okay, take a moment to get onto your backside. Elbows are wide. And then oblique twist crunch. Four. Three. Two. One, back leg goes up. Woo! And then oblique. Elbows are wide. Let's take that back leg up, folks. Now, take a moment. Squeeze your butt up and down slow. That takes us into the music going, making us go faster. Lift, lift, lift. Squeeze those butt muscles. Now coming up, we're gonna put our moves together. Starting with the butt lift, leg lift, back leg first, four, three, two, one. Oblique twist, cross over, three, two. Make sense? Back leg first, go. Squeeze that butt. We're crossing over, go. Fingertips on your temples. Rotate at the waist, not the neck. Well, let's do it. Right there. It's your last set. 
And let's cross over, folks. Okay, to finish it off, here's what we're gonna do, some awesome bicycle action, bicycle through the island. Let's go. Make sure you rotate at the waist. Bring your shoe to your opposite knee. That's it. Almost home and bring it in. Ah, uh, rock, rock, rock yourself up and over into child's pose. And up onto your bench. Hamstring stretch. Nose to toes. So you're sitting on your bench here. And we've got a little rotation. Super. Other side. So hamstring stretch, nose to toes. Excellent time to stretch is when you're warm. Let's rotate as you tip. Don't you be scared, we made it this far. Now let's fly out of our seat. Whew. During those jumping jacks, I think we're about to fly. A little rotation. Release that heel. bench. Let the heel hang off the back. Arm comes across the front, stretching the shoulder while you stretch your calf muscle. Put a palm in between the shoulder blades. Nice work. Other side. Let that heel hang off the back. Arm across the chest. Give yourself a pat on the back. Don't you be scared now. Step down. Get your balance. Grab onto an ankle. Stretch the front of the leg. Match your knees together. You can always hold on to a wall, a neighbor, or yourself. Those knees are matched together. Switch sides. There you go, grab onto that ankle. You can reach behind if you like, if you've got that good balance. Excellent work. Now let's take the other leg across. Oh, good old glutes. So you can hold on. You can reach to your bench if you are high on your risers here. Otherwise, just maintain a good sense of balance. You can always do this laying down as well. Let's do the other side. Use your step bench to help you. Come across. That's it. We definitely are in this stretch. No doubt about it. Step one foot behind the other and reach over, supported side stretch. Open up. Other side. Open up that whole side. And we've got a bicep stretch. Relax those shoulders. Other arm, again, we've definitely earned this stretch. Ah. Last but defi definitely not least, we're gonna reach up and open up. And you're gonna give yourselves a great big hand. That was Muscle Fusion, Volume 3. My name is Aaron. Happy to have brought this to you. Happy instructing, and we'll see you later.